on the previous video we already implement this load more post button as you can see when i click it works and basically it will fetch the new post from the json placeholder api if you don't watching that feel free to click a link on the description so today what i'm going to do is like i said we are going to add loading button in this load more post and then we are going to basically when i scrolling down here it will fetch automatically all right so let's first add loading let's go back to code and basically i'm going to open the page here and basically inside a post list right here we are going to add the loading all right so first i'm going to create state call loading like that and loading have a type called boolean boolean like that and then by default it's gonna be false so let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see by default it's false and then what we need to do is inside the load more post we're going to set loading into true before we fetch this get post and then in the end after everything it's done here we are going to make the set loading back to false just like that and now what we can do inside this load more post i'm going to cut that out and in here i'm going to add loading if the loading is true let's do if the loading is true i'm going to add a loading like that else i'm going to put the load more post you can do here specifically loading skeleton or anything you want all right let's take a look if i click you can see we get loading right so fast so let's make it uh my connection a little bit slow i'm gonna say fast 3g when i click you can see we get loading and then we get the data and let's fix that a little bit i'm going to copy all the styling here let's cut that out and then here i'm going to use a back tick because we are going to put the variable in this styling and i'm going to just cut this hover here and i'm going to add a variable let's say if the loading is true i'm going to add this background gray let's say background gray to 5400 and else i'm going to put this styling here so basically the hover and then i'm gonna add the background to slate i don't know maybe 500 just like that let's take a look if i click this as you can see the background is changed and yeah pretty cool we're done so that's how we add loading basically so really simple so the next thing is i want to when i scrolling down here it will fetch automatically we're going to use this package react intersection observer this is useful when you for example you add the ref on the bottom here and it will trigger every time user scroll on the ref position here right so let me showing you here so the first thing is of course we need to install that so i'm going to copy the name of the package and then go back to the terminal and then here let's open another terminal and i'm going to do npm install react intersection observer it will install the package all right it's done let's close that and then what we need to do first is instead of typing everything inside in here inside a post list i'm going to basically create another component so i'm going to copy this post list paste that again and i'm going to change the name to something like i don't know auto load post list just like that and also i'm going to change the name here into auto let's do load post list just like that and of course we need to change this type here just like that and now let's go back to page and then instead of send instead of render this post list now i'm going to render the auto load post list just like that and of course we get same thing right because we just copy and paste the component all right so now let's working with the auto load post list so the first thing is what we are going to import from the component is basically let's import something called use in view come from react intersection observer and then what we can do we are going to get the scroll trigger and also the in view come from use in view so let's grab that here so basically i'm going to grab the scroll trigger and also i'm going to grab the is in view 
just like that. This scroll trigger is basically where the component that you want to trigger. So in this case, we need to this very bottom here, which is the load more post component, uh, which is this button here, right? So we can add something called ref, and we are going to set that equals to this scroll trigger, just like that. And then now I'm going to just console lock this is in view, just like that. So basically what happened is when we on the when user scroll on the very bottom on the this button here that we set the ref it will trigger the is in view to true as you can see when i scroll it's false by default of course we saw because we're not yet on the button so now we can scroll it scroll it scroll it and then as you can see now it's true when it's true we need to run this function here basically this load more post so how do you do that really easy we can use use effect of course so you can say use effect set equals to error function here right and then inside in this dependency of course we are going to put the is in view here because in here i'm going to check if is in view is true what we are going to do we need to run the load more post like that so let's take a look and then as you can see when i scroll it down here is is loading automatically right that's pretty cool and of course here we need to add some condition as well is in view is true and if has more data is true we need to run that function right if there's no data there's no reason we need to run this load more post and then of course we need to put this has more data into the dev dependency of this use effect and then as you can see we get some warning here that's because we need to put the function on the dependency of this use effect but as you can see our function is uh eslin is not happy with this because we need to wrap as you can see here we need to wrap our function with use callback so let's wrap all of this and then i'm going to use use callback like that and put that the async await function in this use callback and then down here we need to send the current offset as a dependency of this use callback because we're using the current offset right here inside the get post right okay cool so now let's take a look so as you can see when i scroll down it will fetch automatically as you can see loading and then we get loading here loading data loading data etc all right cool so now i don't want to use this button loading instead of i'm going to create the skeleton loading so i found this website is really helpful which is skeleton generator as you can see i'm going to copy and paste this postcard because the loading skeleton we need to really same let like the postcard right here right so i'm gonna paste it right here and click generate so basically this website will generate skeleton loading for us as you can see it is the example the loading skeleton is right here but it will give you different result when you're trying the generate again and again every time you generate it will generate new result for you it's not going to be same right so let's try to copy that and go back to auto load post list and then i'm going to paste it right here and then of course we need to change this class into class name because we're using gsx and again don't forget to put the ref set equals to scroll trigger like that all right so now let's go back and then i'm going to change the network into slow 3g let's try to refresh all right so let's try to scroll down and as you can see the loading skeleton is really cool we also get this red on the top left as you can see that's pretty cool all right yeah that's really really nice yeah that's it for this video hope this helpful and see you in the next video